Robbie McNeil, take one. Mark. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, hi. Bum, Good bum, to see you. Bum. Didn't hear you come in. Bum, 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 I believe the first mention of Voyager and my being involved in the creation of it came from Rick Berman. Michael Piller and I decided that it would be great to have Jerry join us because we wanted to have a female captain and the thought was it would be great to have a female creator and executive producer as well. Now the truth is Rick Berman and Michael Piller did not need me to create Voyager but they perceived that they did because they wanted a woman. For once, being a woman worked in my favor. I think my contribution was pushing them to cast jean vier Bougeau. Oh, jean vier Oh, how I miss thee, jean vier Well, you know, one of the things that made me want to be on the show was jean vier Bougeau would be the captain. And I think it was just a handful of days before that just hit a brick wall. So there I was on the bridge with uh, Rick Colby at the helm directing. He said, this is your living room. This is yours. It belongs to you. And I walked out. My God, it did. And they were all on the lip of the stage, the brass, like this, staring at me. And they continued to do that Lolita for the entire first season. I thought, you're not going to win, boys. So you're welcome to come. But I'm going to win. And I did. Being on a series in the 90s. I was the only Asian male series regular. The only Asian male series regular on television. That's kind of shocking if you think about that. You're like, what? Is that real? Yeah. When Jennifer got fired, all of a sudden, the possibility that this is not going to be a seven-year run for any of us was real. And all the things that come with being on a hit TV show for seven years and the knowledge that the studio is behind it running for seven years, all of that all went away for all of us. Didn't feel as safe anymore. It was sad to, to see um, Jennifer leave. Jennifer had a, had a soulful quality about her. There was a, a beautiful quality about her. But you got Jerry Ryan in, in, to replace. She was a great addition to the show. The Vulcan characters, people always uh, assume that they don't have emotions. Actually, they have a tremendous amount of emotions. The character's uh, culture uh, almost destroyed itself because of their emotions. When you play them, you want to just barely see what's under the surface, and you know it's there. All the Starfleet cast, they all have to be stalwart, brave, and true, but I got to play all these negative character characteristics that the audience weren't used to see coming out of a Starfleet Officer, I could be cowardly, I could be self-involved, I could be completely pompous and overblown. And, and then in the, you know, in the clutch, I could do my job well. I think what really contributes to our unique chemistry in Voyager is that everyone has a sense of humor. Everybody is very funny. They have fabulous and unique senses of humor. You don't know how to do a sound bite. You know what a sound bite is? Why should I know a how to do a sound bite? I don't have to pimp anything. My sound... stuff speaks for itself. No, it I don't doesn't. have to promote it. it. Can you I mean... ask your yeah. Why, when I can rely on you to do it so well? Okay, there you go. Okay, so in other words, as he did on Voyager for seven years, he's riding my coattails. That's, That's right. And, and happily. And happily, and indeed. And freely, and doesn't even hide He it. does all the work, I just scoot along next to him, and I get some of the credit. And no, you take all of the credit. Well. Captain Janeway and Chakotay were uh, getting so close, and then she saw a monkey and forgot all about me. He was a very attractive man, Robert Beltran. Kind and funny and a wonderful guy. But I think he found it dispiriting that, uh, maybe not that we didn't have a romance, I don't think he cared about that so much, as, as that the relationship between Chakotay and, and Janeway did not really intensify. I remember walking in one morning and Kate was already sitting in the captain's chair and we all came out and we, we were all there for the first rehearsal of the day and Kate looks at all of us 
and she says, So, who got laid this weekend? When I play a role, I always have a secret that I have, and um, nobody knows it but me, but I can say it now, but my secret was that Neelix was in love with the captain. So if you watch the scenes, you'll notice that whenever she's talking, I'm just like gazing at her. Um, it was just something I had, and uh, I told her later on after we finished filming and stuff. Rick Berman, I, I said to him that very first day, I said, hey Rick, by the way, I just want you to know, I want to direct. And he sort of laughed like you're laughing right now. <laughs> he laughed and he said, sure, sure, maybe, you know, season five or six or something. And I said, no, I, I want to direct this season. Oh yeah, this one, I meld. Very strong. It was a chance to be able to break out uh, Very of the Tuvok mode powerful. and, uh, and to work as, as an actor, which I actually trained to do, uh, to show a range of emotions. <laughs> You know, I'm a admirer and uh, an acolyte of uh, Gene Roddenberry's. I remember his telling me that uh, the Starship Enterprise was a metaphor for Starship Earth. And the strength of this Starship is its diversity coming together. We didn't have a woman as the captain. So to see that finally uh, in the Voyager, uh, was wonderful to see Gene Roddenberry's vision being filled in more in detail.